What's up everybody, welcome back to Gear Game Gaming, the place where it's all fun and games. Today we've got a bit of a guide for beginners again. This is going to be taking you through the different types of POIs, uh, what to look out for, how to go through them effectively, quickly and without taking too much damage or as little damage as you can. There's lots of different types of POIs in this game. Uh, there's some that give you specific loots like pop and pills, uh, shotgun messiahs and cracker books things like that they give you different kinds of items you're going to get a higher probability of getting those items so in a pop and pills you're going to have better chance of getting medical equipment all that sort of stuff um in uh cracker books you got a better chance of finding books to help you learn and build things earlier on in the alphas there were updates to pois and PO most of the pois then before alpha 18 didn't have much in the way of a path or anything like that. You just kind of ran in, guns blazing, didn't know where you were going, just run around the place and loot it. Like these old hospitals, they didn't have much of a path. They didn't, they do now though. They're going through all these POIs and putting paths inside them so that you have to go, well you don't have to go a specific way, but the best way to get everything is to go a specific way, um, which is well lit, there's holes in the walls, loads of different walkways that you have to follow outside and the inside buildings but um, today we're going to be going through this building this should be quite a simple one I think I've been through it before but let's talk about how we get in these now you can get straight up to the very top of the buildings most of the loot is in the top buildings they are changing this though they are making it so that the loot is in more central to the building so people can't just basically nerd pole up to the roof grab all the good loot and then nerd pole back down they're getting rid of that so it makes the game a little bit more difficult for us so in this POI you see you've got a wall a hole in the wall here so that's probably going to be part of the path all these are all broken up. You can get through here if you wanted to. You'd probably take out this lady. Dink! And that leads us to our first tip. Crouching. Walking around crouching is great. Zombies won't hear you at all unless you do a few things like walk over rubbish and things like that. But zombies won't hear you unless you get really, really close to them. And you also get a sneak shot on them. So like in that, when I just killed that nurse then, while sneaking, I can zoom in and get a shot off on zombies and I'll get a three and a half times multiplier like this. If I hit it. And most of the time, that is enough to kill a zombie. So that crouching and using your bows are probably two very decent tips that you should probably stick with when you're first starting the game. The next tip is to destroy all of these things. You might get ones that look like bits of paper and plastic cups. You'll get ones that are just a bit of paper there. You'll get ones that look like broken pieces of glass, jagged glass, all that sort of stuff. Destroy it. It doesn't wake up zombies, it doesn't create any noise, so you can't wake up zombies because of that. And if you do walk over them, you will make noise and zombies will hear you, they'll wake up and they'll try and kill you and their asses like that. So yeah, crouch, bow, get rid of all the rubbish and you should be fine just for a little bit. Next is to keep an eye out for false walls, false floors. They've always, well, nearly always got secret loot behind them. So I've got that, and I've got an ammo pile behind it, and it gives me a load of ammo just so I can shoot some more zombies with. You'll find these in the floor and on walls, um, so keep an eye out for them. There's also bits like vents. Sometimes you can break these. That's a metal one, so you can't get through those. Give it a little tap with something, like a little stone axe or something like that, and you'll quickly find out. Normally, it is with the vents, it's the ones that are tilted like this. And that was wood. Again, more ammo, more ammo to kill zombies with. If you do get lost trying to find your way through these POIs, a lot of the time they will have torches or lamps 
hand lamps like this so you can fo quickly find out where you're supposed to go normally they put them in places where people might get a bit confused and a bit lost so if you've got to go outside or something like that they'll have put them by the windows then be careful of cooking pots sometimes you'll get cooking pots that actually won't let you pick them up if they don't let you pick them up it's because they are a mine so if you shoot it a couple of times it'll blow up like that now you don't want to be too close to that when that goes off so try not to walk over it and you should be fine look out for pictures on the walls like these because sometimes if you hit them unlike that one there'll be something hidden behind it just like this one and it's got a purse a hidden purse inside it now these bits are always a bit worrisome lights will tell you to go outside and it is the way you've got to go but when you go outside a hundred percent of the time it means there is a vulture there and vultures are annoying they can make you bleed they can infect you and they fly around and if you haven't got a decent range weapon they're very difficult to hit so what you do is you get your bow sneak around and you still shoot them in the face just like any other sleeping zombie that you find walking around um, as long as you don't get too close to them and wake them up you'll be fine you're not going to struggle too much wardrobes like this that look like two that look like a normal two doors be careful of them they normally have zombies hiding inside them best way to deal with them is to shoot them with a bow doesn't wake up the zombies more often than not so you get a free shot on them and you can clear them out really easily just like that haven't got to worry about them very nice like i said earlier most of the time the main loot is in a little room hidden at the very top of the building or on top of the roof they're normally safes crates that you can break open and get whatever you want out of them and sometimes you get bits of food supplies and food supplies and medical supplies that you can easily loot desk safes and any kind of safes up here um, you might get locked chests and things like that i'm not sure how often it happens but a lot of the time they are locked so you do need lock picks now a good way of actually opening these efficiently and getting the most out of them is by using candies there's about eight different types of candies but jailbreakers give you a 100 percent chance of lock picking whatever's you're trying to unlock so if you do have a lock pick like these they're expensive in the trader they're about 1200 normal price um so they are expensive to buy so early game you're not going to want to waste them um you don't find them very often so they are good to keep but jailbreakers make sure that you keep those lock picks you don't go through six of them trying to get through into a safe and then eye candy gives you a massive loot bonus so that you've got a much better chance of getting better items. So using both of these in tandem is a really great idea. So if I use this and this. I can hold E down and then select pick lock. And this will go all the way through, no problems, no questions asked. It's going to go, not wasting any lock picks. Works like a charm. You couldn't, you can't ask for any be anything better, really. And then when I go into it, I get a level two wooden club. <laughs> Typical, isn't it? You go use those items, you get some big crap from it. One little side note: I haven't had to deal with this in this. Play th run through of this POI because I've basically adhered to all of my little tips that I've given you already. But the next one is bring medical supplies because the critical injuries list that they've got in Alpha 19 is a hell of a lot bigger than it is in Alpha 18 or any of the Alphas before that. So if you are going to go through a big POI and you're not sure how long you're going to be in there, 
it is a good idea to bring things like your painkillers, your your honey, your splints, and your bandages, just in case you do get one of those critical injuries. Because if you do get one, it could probably stuff up your whole looting of a POI just because you can't get around as quickly or there's chance of you aggravating something that you've already got and having a broken leg or a broken arm or anything like that. And then the final bit is going to be don't be cucumbered. Now, cucumbered is just another way of saying encumbered. Having too much into in your inventory is going to cause you issues. It's going to cause you problems with getting around. You're not going to be able to jump very much. You're going to use your your stamina much quicker. And if a POI takes a lot longer than you thought it was going to take, you might be stuck in that POI and not be able to leave because you can't get anywhere. So you have to set up base for the night in the POI that you've just run through, which isn't ideal. So try and stay away from being encumbered. Maybe leave a chest out just outside the boundaries of the POI. Um, the reason for leaving it just outside the boundaries of the POI is that if it's a mission for your quest uh, from a trader, if you loot the build, you can loot the building twice by looting it first and then getting outside the building, activating the mission. And then it will reset the whole POI so you can loot it again. But if you do that and you've got a chest inside the area of the POI, you will lose everything. It does reset the stuff that you build. Everything goes. So, yeah, build it outside and dump everything in there. So build it in the middle of the road if you want, something like that. And you can just drop everything off there and come back later for it and go on your merry way. And maybe loot another POI if you've got time. But that's the end of this guide, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. Let me know in the comment section if you if, I, if you think I've missed anything. There probably is stuff that I've missed. Um, but I think I've got most of the, the good and useful things in there. So remember to keep it all fun and games. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Goodbye. Goodbye.